is going down today, y'all. Y'all see I got my hair throw back, got the Yaya's catering hat on. We ready. We ready for the kitchen. You know why? Because today we are making one of the world's most flavorfulest comfort meals. At least in my opinion, it's ribs and rice, y'all. To die for. Seasoned to perfection. Listen, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make. Stay tuned. Alright my YouTube family, I'm so of course we are going to start with some ribs. Okay, so, um, now I know, okay, so you could either, you got options here. You could get you some nice baby backs, just like this, and just cut them up, you know, cut them up, bone by bone. That's how I'm going to do these today. Or you could go, like, to your local butcher, and they could chop you up some ribs, um, just ask for ribs and rice style. Um, either way, these joints come out slamming, it really don't matter. So, y'all, we got our beautiful two slabs of baby back ribs. Um, like I said, I'm going to clean these up, wash these up, and I'm going to cut them into individual bones before we throw them in the oven. Then we are going to transfer them to our beautiful mixing bowl where we are just going to load those bad boys. Oh, focus in. Where we're just going to load those bad boys with seasoning. Then, after the seasoning, we're going to transfer them over to our baking sheet. I cook my ribs in the oven uncovered. I don't want no cover. I'm just going to lay them on here. I'm going to cook them low and slow. They're going to get crispy. They're going to be bomb. They're going to be tender. It's going to be out of control. So now, you guys, we need to see ooh, what we are going to season these ribs with. Now, <sighs> sky is the limit. Sky is the limit when it comes to these ribs. These ribs hold seasoning and flavor really, really good. So I think what I'm going to do, now you could go any route you want to go, but the route that I am going to go is, I think we are going to season these, let's see, with some adobo. Because see, we are going to make some yellow rice to pair with these and I'm also going to be uh, probably frying a cabbage so we're going to use some adobo and sorry y'all if the cam I'm trying to hold the camera and grab seasoning we're going to use some sasson we are going to use let's see what we got down here season your meat y'all have fun ooh what y'all think this would taste like ooh you know what? We let's go with that. Let's use a little bit of that. New Orleans Cajun. Oh, excuse me, Sarah. Okay, and I'm definitely going with some salt free. I love that salt free. It packs so much flavor to be saltless. So let's see. We got our Weber section over here and our grill mates. Uh, we got some kicking chicken. Um, you know what? definitely garlic powder don't be afraid I tell y'all all the time do not be afraid to season y'all meat quit playing but I think that is all that we need y'all so I think I'm going to use the adobo the sasso and New this is bomb yeah I tried this for the first time the other night the New Orleans Cajun found this at I want to say Walmart um salt free and we're going to go with some granulated garlic. We are also going to be using some brown sugar. Because I, you know, I mix all my seasonings up in one cup. Focus. I mix all my seasonings up in one cup. And uh, then, and then uh, sprinkling them on like that. So, let's get to it, y'all. Let me stop talking y'all ear off. So, yeah, I think this is the seasonings that we're going to use. Let's get into it. Peace. Okay, y'all. So, I just had to chime in real quick. Because, I, you know... I don't understand why people don't like to wash their meat. Look at these, look at these ribs. So my ribs is nice and chopped up, right, y'all? So they chopped up, so now I'm just giving them a nice scrub and um, you know, just trimming off some excess fat and stuff. But look, you gotta wash your meat. Look at this scummy, look at this scummy water. Like, you don't wanna eat that. Look, it's oil, it's 
Look, just wash it. Wash it. All right, my beautiful YouTube fam. Let's get into this seasoning process. So, I did add two more seasonings to the crew. I'm, I'm going to add some onion powder. Let's get the seasoning here. So, you really... Okay, so, it's just hard to explain. Um, how can I explain it? So, the key is to use a variety of seasonings and spices, but balance it out good. You know, don't over season. I mean, don't over season it. So, they're going to be adobo. And that's just what makes your food good. Step out the box. Use different flavors. But when you use a truckload of flavors, you just can't add mad seasoning if that makes sense it probably don't but okay so now let's add in the sasson just a little bit our garlic powder I'm also going to add in some six pepper blend open up the big side okay we got that salt free seasoning Salt free seasoning, you could get a little heavy with. Why? Duh, because it's salt free. So, and it packs a lot of flavor, believe it or not. So, let's go in with some salt free seasoning. I love this stuff. And it gives it like a nice crust on it, too. And lastly, we are going to go in with our New Orleans Cajun. That's going to give it that twang, that, that little bit of heat. So, now you just take your hand and incorporate these bad boys, incorporate that seasoning. On those ribs we already got our oven heated on 350 um, these is probably gonna take probably about I would say a couple of hours maybe about two hours two two and a half hours fall off the bone I'm gonna show y'all of course I'm gonna show you guys the end result so that's okay if it's still a little bit of water left at the bottom because we need that uh, for the bottom of our pan for the beginning process of the cooking so these are nice and well seasoned I could just look at them and tell this is going to be flavorful I just got that eye at least you know when I'm cooking I just got that eye so let's see make sure they're all yep okay so they're all well incorporated so now what we're gonna do is just toss it on our baking sheet we don't need to spray it we don't need to line it. We just go line these ribs up. And I really don't want to crowd my pan, so if I got to use another cookie sheet, I will. Just like that. Just like that. Throw them bad boys on. You know some food going to be good when they smell good raw. And put them two little babies right there at the end. So that's going to go in like that. Then you know what? I don't even need a full cookie sheet. I'm just going to use this little pan here for the rest of them. So with you. And we are going to bake these uncovered, you guys, on 350. There we go. There we go. That's our two slabs. We're going to take our seasoned juice right here. We're going to put half on here, and we're going to take it over and pour the other half on our other ribs. Discard our dirty dish. Let's get these bad boys in the oven. I'll be back, y'all. Okay, YouTube fam, now it is time to start prepping for our cabbage. We are having a nice, simple cabbage, nothing too crazy. We are just going to um, dice us up some or slice us up some bell pepper and a uh, white onion. I got some bacon over there in the pan frying up. That's what we're gonna fry our cabbage in. I am going to use my trusty, beautiful chopper here. Um, so let's start with this onion. See, this is what you do when you ain't got time. When you ain't got time, this chopper come in handy. Oh. And pie out. Okay. Put that one like right there. This onion is so big, I should have chopped that smaller. Like I thought, but pie out. Can y'all see that magic? Pie 
Yeah. I love it. I love it. Quick and easy. Quick and easy. I'm probably gonna save a little bit of this onion um, and pepper because I'm probably gonna make a little gravy. My uh, daughter and fiance love gravy. I'm not too big on gravy, so I'm gonna do a gravy on the side. That's why I didn't make those. Uh, that's why I'm just gonna regular bake those ribs in a shallow pan, and I'm gonna have them add their gravy themselves instead of making smothered ribs. Okay, because sis really don't care for the gravy like that. So we are just going to chop these up. Let's get some, this is already nice and washed, my bell pepper. I'm gonna slice this up too, that looks kinda too big. Just set it down, boom, just like that. Just like that. I love it, I love it, I love it. Quick and easy, so what I'm gonna do is finish chopping these. Oh, do I wanna use the whole thing? Yeah, let's use the whole thing. Put that in there like that, or let me see, like that. Give it a shake. It's starting to fill up, see? And it catches it all at the bottom, you guys. Like yeah, let's, let's go ahead and dice that up. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, do it, do it. Last one. Sometimes you gotta put a little elbow grease. Done. Oh, that's trash. What am I doing? Okay, so let's set this to the side, y'all. And now let's get to our beautiful little cabbage. Okay, so these green thick leaves I pick off. But guess what? I don't throw them out. I know a lot of people say they're bitter, they taste gross, they take uh, hours and hours and hours to cook. But listen, on the day that I got time, I'm gonna cook them bad boys. Probably throw a little bit of smoked meat up in there, but we're gonna get it in. So let's ugh. dice that little butt off. Garbage. Boom. Let me get this a good wrench, y'all. Okay, so I'm not gonna bore y'all with chopping up this cabbage. I'm going to chop this cabbage up. Um, I don't know if it'll work for, see I don't know if I could fit that in my little chopper. So I'm gonna just chop this up by hand. I'm not gonna bore you guys, so I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so now my bacon is like midway done, right? So now what I'm going to do is adding my peppers and onions. Gonna add in a little bit of those. This is our peppers and onions that we chopped up. Because I wanna get those pre-cooked because the cabbage is not gonna take long at all. I don't really like my cabbage really mushy. I like it with still a little, little slight crunch on it. So that's all I'm gonna add to that. Let's just mix those onions and peppers around in that bacon and in that bacon fat. And we are gonna let this render down and then we go add in our cabbage. Then after we add in our cabbage, we gonna take the cabbage to Flavor Town. Of course we're seasoning our cabbage. This is not enough seasoning, get it together. Be back y'all. Okay, my fam, so now I have my veggies and bacon right where I want it. My bacon is nice and cooked and rendered down, and my veggies, I wanted a nice char on those veggies. So now what we're gonna do is lay our cabbage right on top. I'm gonna continue letting these sear at the bottom. I'm gonna lay them down nice and even like that so they can continue to sear a little more. And we are going to grab 
every time I try to transfer cabbage over from the table to the stove, I always end up dropping some. So let's just lay that down just like that. Yep, there you go, some just failed, told y'all. Okay, lay that down like that. And we got a little bit more. And a little bit more. They don't know how you lie. Okay, I'm gonna turn my fire down to a medium. All right, so now with cabbage, and I had to learn the hard way myself, you do not really need a lot of seasoning for your fried cabbage. Um, you really just want to lightly season your cabbage so the flavor, the sweet, nice flavor of the cabbage can shine. I used to season my cabbage with seasoned salt, garlic peppers, slap your mama, and it came out all uh, spicy and whatnot and uh, too over seasoned. So what I do now and what I've been doing, taking it real nice and light. So all you need is one good all-purpose seasoning. And this is the seasoning, see if you got to see it. This is the seasoning of my choice. Morton's Nature Seasonings. This stuff is bomb. Bomb, y'all. You can use it on chicken, vegetables, and fish. It just has salt, pepper, onion, and garlic. It's just the right amount of salt, the right amount of pepper. So we are going to use this and then have your cabbage hidden. So I'm going to be not too generous with it. Just going to eyeball it because after my, cause remember our bacon is, is a little salty too, y'all. Now what I am going to add an extra is some uh, black pepper because I like to see pepper in certain dishes and fried cabbage is one of them. Like I need to see my pepper flakes or my pepper seasoning. So let's go in with just a little bit of that. Boom. So I'm going to just let this sit like this and steam for a minute. Remember we got our onions and peppers and bacon at the bottom. So when it's time to flip all those, it's just going to marry all together. Simple cabbage, y'all. Simple, 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 simple cabbage. And my fire is on medium. I'm looking for a lid right now. I don't have a lid for this pan, but guess what? I'm about to make one. Hold up. All right. Press this off. Okay. So I'm just gonna let this steam up. Boom, just like that. Perfecto. I'm gonna let that steam off for like another five minutes and then we are just gonna give it a good stir. We're gonna take all that deliciousness from the bottom and just incorporate it right into our cabbage. Be back, y'all. All right, y'all. Let's give this a nice good stir. Take everything from the bottom and just add it at the top. We just go join them in holy matrimony. Just like this. Then after we join them in holy matrimony, we're going to let them enjoy their marriage. And we're going to keep this going nice and low. And let this fry up to perfection. Okay. Make sure you give it a nice, good toss. And as your cabbage cooks, it will, like these pieces here, that's like stuck together, the leaves will come apart. Do not fret. Do not fret, my pet. There you go, get that over like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I don't put butter in my cabbage. I don't like the way butter tastes in cabbage. I don't like the way honey tastes in cabbage. I don't like the way sugar tastes in cabbage because I feel like cabbage has its own natural sugars already in it, so it has that slightly sweet taste already. So you don't need all that. Cabbage is one of those things you just want to keep nice and simple. Nice and simple. Nothing too crazy. 
Now you can freak it. You know, sometimes I'll chop up some down south sausage up in that joint and you know, you can freak it. But I mean, just keep it simple. Simple is better sometimes. See how those leaves are coming apart already? So now we have it nice and incorporated, y'all. I'm gonna just let this continue to fry until it's to the consistency I prefer. So I'll be back, y'all. Okay, my bad, y'all. We are going to add a little bit of a little bit of beef broth. Just a little bit. Boom. Okay. Let's continue to let this cook, y'all. Be back. Here you go, my beautiful YouTube fam. A nice big party plate just for you. You got your ribs and your gravy. Got that onion gravy going on over some nice seasoned yellow rice. And of course our delicious fried cabbage that has our fried bacon in it, our um, green peppers and our onions. So here you go in the start of the show again, you guys. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Do not forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Love you guys so much. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.